Hello YouTube and the tribes of the horror realm. Look what the cat dragged in. We are back finally. Uh, last time we did a video was probably sometime in July. Well, with the exception of the unboxing of um, the Walking Dead screwy headpiece there. Um, but we haven't been active in the YouTube community for probably six weeks, maybe a little longer. And uh, if you hadn't seen the video, the reason why, or if you even care, is uh, we had to move. So we had to focus all our attention and funds at doing this move. So we're still kind of trying to get things set up. We still got to do a little painting of the trimming and putting up shelves and still, you know, set, try to settle in, but we're in, and um, if any of you had to move in the past, I'm sure there's many of you that have, you know, it sucks. And as you say, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you have to move it. And it's worse when you're like me and you pretty much keep everything. But uh, we got back, we were finally moved in, and we were like, okay, now we're going to try to get back into the swing of things. Um, I know I sent out a bunch of uh, emails to people to let them know we were alive. But I was going to do a few, and then I'm like, oh, i got to send this guy and this guy, so it became kind of a form letter until I decided enough's enough. So we were figuring, how are we going to come in and do, do a video? Because, um, well finances and being what they are and focusing on the move and we actually had to deal with two places. Um, we haven't really bought any DVDs. We really haven't gone to any movies lately. You know, we, I think the last movie we went to see was what, Dark Knight to the Rises? Yeah, I think so. You guys really want to hear about that? <laughs> We're late now. Um, we haven't gone to conventions because of the same reason we've had to um, put off going to our um, Monster Manias because we of the move as well as saving for a once-in-a-lifetime convention coming up. Um, so we didn't have a lot to say. So we were hoping we'd get on it and it's like, okay, there's a lot of people out there that have challenges, contests, um, you know, just different things that are very interactive, and a lot of them weren't on there. I'm like, wow. So we actually were in a holding pattern, trying to figure out what we were going to do. And luckily, lo and behold, one of them pops right back, and that is, of course, JR, My Eyes Are Open 78. Um, now, JR, I'd like to say, you know, well, first off, welcome back. I'd like to say that I missed you. But I've been gone just as much, so I didn't even know you were gone. You missed you anyway. Match. <laughs> well, anyhow, uh, JR, uh, first off, uh, good luck with the job situation. Uh, I've been through it. She had to hold down the fort. Um, hopefully you get back to uh, doing the job you like, or at least the job that pays you well enough that you can tell yourself you like it. Uh, I wish I had one of them myself. Um, it'll come around for you, buddy. Peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. Um, and congratulations, Kaylor, on appearing in uh, Girls and Corpses magazine. I'm going to guess that you're in the girl portion. <laughs> Anyways, JR has got a contest. It's his convention time contest. And his question is, uh, first part is, who, of all the movies that have ever been made, even those crappy Turkish films, <laughs> who is your favorite character and why? And of course, I had so many of these that I was trying to decide <laughs> on, and I'm still trying to decide on, so you go first. Okay, as all of you know, one of my favorite 80s flicks is The Breakfast Club. Not all of them, though. All right. The guy that just subscribed, like, last week doesn't know that. <laughs> but my favorite character 
of all time is Bender, who was played by Judd Nelson in the movie. In Futurama? <laughs> now, his character, um, he portrayed this character so well. Um, I love the way he played it. It was done very good. Um, very well. <laughs> his character had some serious points to it and also some comical. Um, in the beginning of the movie, the, of the movie, he talks about his family life and how bad it is. And, I mean, it just wants to make you cry. And then there are some parts later in the movie that he's just laugh out loud funny. Um, also, he portrays a tough um, exterior on the outside, so, um, so we cannot get close to anybody. But, of course, Molly Ringwald, who plays Claire, actually uh, breaks down that wall for him because he, he found out that he likes her in such a way that, um, that it was okay for him to. And this movie is just so um, great for every kid who's going through high school. It just makes such an impact. And these kids found out that they are more in common uh, than they ever thought they would. So, uh, my favorite character is Bender, uh, who's played by Jen Nelson in the Box Club. Uh, well, this one is one that I probably overthink and take way too seriously, because now I'm trying to decide, well, is it, do I like, uh, the ideal of the character? Is it a character that I identify with? Is it a character that I don't necessarily identify with, but I enjoy the performance, or I enjoy what the character stands for? This is all little different things about different characters. Um, you know, even in my, you know, I want not, anyone that's seen me knows that Halloween's my favorite movie, but not a single character on its standalone really is a favorite of mine. So, um, one of the go-tos for me, of course, is the Universal Monsters, and, um, I just can't choose, because, like, she asks me all the time, which is my favorite Universal Monster, and, you know, it varies from time to time, and it's just, I like them all, it's like trying to pick your favorite child, even the one with the freaking lazy eye, you know? <laughs> um, so, I thought about it, and I'm going to end up going with the character that I really identify with, and um, <laughs> it's probably because, well, you'll know why in a minute, um, it would be Bruce Campbell's character, Ash Williams, um, and more than likely it would be from the Army of Darkness phase, and the reason is, um, you know, he's put in a situation he doesn't want to be doing. Usually, it's most of the things that I don't want to do, but I have to do it, so I do it. <laughs> um, he tries to come off as cool, which I try to do. Um, oftentimes, failing miserably. Check. <laughs> um, he's just... Uh, his intentions are there. It's just he kind of screws up. It's like when he's... Uh, they tell him, make sure you say the words properly, and he has to do, uh, you know, Platu, Parata, <coughs> and he has to fake it, <laughs> you know, and thinks he gets away with it. That was what I identified with, because that's probably something I would do, because I talk out of my ass half the time, anyhow. Um... So, I mean, it's not a redeeming characteristic, but he's enjoyable, he's, his intentions are well. I mean, even the ending, you know, all he has to do is take so many drops to get back to his time, and he even screws that up. So, um, you know, he's just a walking snafu, so I just kind of think that um, I can really identify with that. Uh, he's an everyman put in an extraordinary circumstance, and uh, he does his best to do the right thing and come out on top. Um, 
And of course, there was an involvement, involvement of the character going along as well. Um, now, uh, JR had a bonus category, which is he wants to do a suggestion for a awkward photo op with actor Malcolm McDowell. Now, um, this is an easy one, and I, uh, because of your name, username, my eyes are open. Um, and Malcolm McDowell, of course, in The Clockwork Orange, was reconditioned and brainwashed by showing a visual where he couldn't, they had um, things to keep his eyes open the whole time so he couldn't avert his gaze. Now, if there's a way you could rig something up that you would have something similar, keeping your eyes wide open, I would have you doing that, but have Malcolm McDowell standing near you, we're about to drop some eye drops into your eyes, because you have to have your eyes open that long, he knows what it's like, he's feeling a bit sorry for you, so he's going to give you a solid and at least give you a few drops of visine. So, um, I don't know, that's my uh, best one that could probably be suggested without YouTube taking the video down. So, um, that's about it. Run on long enough. And hopefully this greases the skids and uh, we'll be able to get back into the swing of things. And, you know, it's just a little tougher now. We're further from our jobs and, you know, out of the house very early, coming home late. Just don't have a lot of time for anything at the moment. But we will always try to make time for all our uh, friends out there and uh, across the world. So thank you very much. And uh, it's, it's good to be back, Coach. Good to be back. Bye. Bye-bye.